Tamar Club from the United States has taken a novel approach to scouting talent this month. They've been holding trials at St George's Park in Burton. For some players, impressing in the East Midlands could see them heading to the East Coast. Despite the thick fog, a clear chance to play in the land of opportunity as the management team from North Carolina's Wilmington Hammerheads cast their eye over a group of trialists all keen to win contracts to compete in America. I might get 20, 30 emails a week from players in England looking to go to America and play. So we said, well, maybe they can save that airfare, come here and expose ourselves to, to this weather, I guess you might say, <laughs> and, uh, and try it. So we tried it and, and it's been great. I think it'll be very successful. And uh, I think there'll be a few players from this, this event here that will be playing for the Wilmington Hammerheads this summer in, in the United States. Over 30 players have gone through the weekend trials, having played for non-league sides or being released by Premier and Football League sides as youngsters. Others had come from all over Europe. Two even came from Australia. The commitment was obvious. There's a lot of players at Premier League clubs and Football League clubs who get released and it's getting harder and harder in the lower leagues, um, especially, especially, I'd say, a technical kind of player who might be more suited to America. Um, obviously, a great bonus is a fantastic lo lifestyle over there as well. Other coaches from around Europe were also watching, but the chance of going stateside to play in the league just below the MLS was the ultimate goal. You see the heights of David Beckham across there and, and the MLS, and, and it is, it's growing massively across there. And a lot of young players are looking to get over there as well as, as those finishing their careers. And, um, you know, America is, is, is great for football, the lifestyle as well. So for a lucky few, it's now a case of waiting for a phone call and hoping for a move to the land of the free and the home of the brave. Fraser Nainton, Sky Sports.